Today we are going to discuss getting started with Visual Basic Programming. Uh, this is our lesson number one and this is the first lesson out of eight lessons. And uh, then let's see what do we understand by a program. A program is a set of instructions followed by a computer to perform a task. Then what do we understand by a programming language? A programming language is used to write computer programs. There are many programming languages, but in this course, we focus on visual basic programming. Then the other thing you need to know is Visual Studio IDE. Okay. So uh, you have to go to this link and you can download this one community edition of visual studio okay that is a software so you have you can download this one and it is free for individual developers and uh, visual studio ide means it is an integrated development environment we can use it to write computer programs then let's see how we can work with the Visual Studio IDE. Once you have installed Visual Studio IDE to your computer, then you, you have to go to File, New and Project. Okay, then you will see this new project window and in here you have to specify Visual Basic and uh, Visual Studio IDE has been designed to work with many programming languages. Here you can see Visual C Sharp, uh, Visual C++, Python, Visual F Sharp, JavaScript. Okay, but uh, in this course we will be working with Visual Basic Programming Language. So you have to select it here. And the second one is, uh, in this course, we are going to develop Windows Forms applications. Later, you will know what we understand, what we mean by Forms applications. For the time being, you have to just select this. And now here, you have to specify a suitable name. Okay. Now, we are going to start a Visual Studio project so you can give an appropriate name here and in this in here you have to specify the location where you are going to save your project and you can use the browse button and after that you have to press ok button and these is steps i have included uh, here and once you have pressed the OK button, you can see your project has been open. Okay. Now here you can see test one. That is the name of your project. And here you can see the tool, tool, uh, toolbox window. And here you can see an empty form. Here you can see uh, Solution Explorer window and here you can see Properties window and uh, if Toolbox is not visible then you have to go to View and click Toolbox. Uh, if Solution Explorer is not visible in the same way you have to go to View and uh, click Solution Explorer. If Properties window is not visible, you have to go to View and click Properties window. Okay, those things I have included in text like this. Okay, now it's the time um, to do a practical demonstration with uh, Visual Studio IDE. So I have already installed it. So I have to simply click this then here you can see community edition and now 
it takes some time uh, after that you have to simply go to file then new and project then you can see the new project window as we have discussed here you have to select visual basic and here you have to select windows forms application and here you have to give an appropriate name you you can give any name here uh, we, we just give this name okay and after that you have to specify using the browse button you have to specify the location you have to uh, in desktop i have already created the folder with name vb i'm going to save my project inside this folder and then i have to select that folder after that press ok button it takes some some time okay so you have to wait now a project will be created uh, for you by the ide and uh, now here you can see toolbox window and solution explorer window properties window if they are not visible in uh, your IDE then you have to simply go to view and click uh, toolbox okay then if solu solution explorer window is not visible you have to simply go to view and click uh, solution explorer uh, if properties window is not visible in the same way you have to go to view and then click properties window and here you can see an empty form if it is not visible you have you have to double click on this one and it will uh, be visible to you okay then uh, in by the ide you have given the ide has given an empty form to you if you uh, run your program okay you can run your program you can simply go to debug and uh, click start debugging and uh, for the time being this is how you have to run your program it takes uh, time so you have to wait you have to be patient okay it's still working now here you can see the program okay it is just an empty form okay now how we stop running our program you have to go to debug and click stop debugging now uh, if you close your IDE and now let's uh, go to the VB folder where we have saved our project if you open that one you can see a folder with the name I have given as the project name and if you open this uh, you can see this .sln file Microsoft Visual Studio solution okay that means if you double click this one you can again open the project you were working okay this one this is the project my project here you can see the name of your project and again uh, I'm going to close this okay and after that uh, if you open this one you can see this bin folder inside this one you can see this debug folder inside this you can see myproject.exe 
here the type is application and this is the executable file let's uh, copy it and paste it on the desktop if you double click on it you can see an empty form okay it is just an empty form we did nothing we just created the new project and by the ide we have given this empty form now it's our responsibility we can transform this form to a to a software application as we wish for an example we can see this notepad notepad application available in windows operating systems okay so we can transform our empty form into this kind of a software application that is one particular thing you can do another thing is you can transform your empty form uh, to a software application like this okay these are just very simple examples you can develop any complicated software using uh, this visual studio ide okay this is just the start so throughout this lesson you will learn how to achieve your goal uh, to develop a software application okay that is the end of lesson 1 and thank you for listening